Hello, welcome back to the GSM workshop. Um, today uh, I'm back on the Volkswagen bus. Um, lots to do, as you've seen from my previous videos. Today is a little bit different. Um, I want to show you a product I'm going to use on it now. Um, but I got it here um, and I bought it yesterday. I've used this before in other jobs. Um, and it saves welding. Some places are awkward to weld and uh, you might be thinking, what's the alternative, and uh, how strong is it? Well, I've been using this, this instant niche wrapper here. Um, I'm going to take it out. Um, I'm going to use my trusty Milwaukee knife. If you're watching Milwaukee, I like another one. <laughs> I bought that one myself, by the way. So, um, you buy a kit, and i got to admit, this stuff is expensive. Um, you get the two mixing nozzles that come with it. You get the actual, well, and you get some instructions. So uh, read these carefully. And then you get this Maxim Evercoat Maxim. Um, and it's a two part epoxy you use for bonding metal panels together on autos. Um, I got this on another video which I did on a Ford Mustang where I used it. And I want to use it on the particular application on the Volkswagen I'm working on right now in other places as well. So um, let me just turn the camera around and I'll point you down down where, where this product is. Welcome back to the GSM workshop. Update on the Volkswagen bus project. Um, nothing much new really except, well, there is big news. I now have the sill rocker panel all fabricated in and welded in and finished. That part is done. Now this part was a real pain to do. I'll admit that. Uh, let's scoot along on my chair here to show you from end to end what it looks like. And I'll explain a little bit why it's such a pain. So, uh, start at the, uh, the front end here. So the B pillar here was my datum point to work from. So I tacked this in and it's not welded in fully yet. Still a bit of work to do. So that was my point forward to start from. And then out of the back end, the uh, fender panel replacing was my rear datum point. So I had to get all these correct in there. So um, yeah, working backwards and forwards, this panel came off goodness knows how many times. And this B post repair section was trial as well to get this into the correct curve even though it's a uh, proper repair section um, still had to do a lot of work to get it to do the right curve down it so it it, so it, it blends in correctly with this so um, the ends are open right now both ends and this end as well so let me take off this panel here and you'll see what I've done. So let me just put the tripod down here. Oops. And just uh, put you up here in the general direction. That's what that looks like. So it's only held on with a couple of bikes right now. This is going to slide out. Now, let's see what I've done here. The white is just seam sealer. Um, I seam seal all over all my welds. Um, and right now, this is open still. And also, if I go inside, yeah, you can see it there. It's also, where's my finger? It's also open here as well. So you can see like right, the section, the outer, inner, and the other outer set, it's three sections. And I'll put a picture in 
and what that looks like. So the next job, now it's welded in, I want to rust proof it. And I'll show you what I'm going to do. I'm going to put a, a probe down here and we're going to squirt some um, rust proofing compound in there. And I'll show you what that is shortly. So I'll get back to you on that one. So I'm using this product called fl Fluid Film. Um, it's a, uh, call it a wall. Let me go around the side here. You can see a wall wax formula. Um, and it's black um, and it's uh, anti corrosion spray. And if you're in the UK, it's a little bit like wax oil, but not quite the same as wax oil. But uh, this is what I can get here. I've used it before in a, another form and I'm very impressed with it. And I use, where are we? This gun here. And we have like an extended nose probe on the end. And um, I just stuff it in the hole and uh, spray away. So let's see how this works. So I can get the, uh, the camera set up. Let's see how we can, I can get this lined up here. That should just about work, I think. So, we put this down on the intersection, as far as it will go. And you can see still the send spray and draw it back slowly. Use it around so it gets all over. Draw it out. That is, that is it. So, just let me double check it's all working here. Oh yeah, it's working fine. I'll just do this again. I want a good protective layer in there. There we go. That sounds better. Okay, this is this one side done. I think I can show you. How close I can get, and you can see the black film just in there. So, I'm going to do that on the inner and outer, and so that will help with some rust protection for future. Hope it will last a little bit longer than the last time. Okay, that's it for now. That's the project for now. I go draw back. Um, you can see it's all being protected with paint here. Um, rear panel isn't put on yet. I should say as well, when I did, did welded this up in, um, you can see my plug welds in places. I also, for the top section here, um, the book suggested doing little welds along here. 
but this is quite thin and I didn't want to replace it if I could so I actually used I think in, a, in another I'll put this on the floor and turn this around I used the uh, body adhesive this uh, Evercoat product Maxim I've used it before very very strong so this section here has been glued down and it also seals the gap and it makes it waterproof and it's good corrosion resistant with it as well so okay that's the, the progress so far again this is a pain to do lining it all up and getting it in properly but uh, it has gone quite well uh, the next video will be putting in this rear fender section and the rear corner section as well and that will be like a good portion of this side done the next section to do is in the front wheel arch down there okay thank you for watching uh please like subscribe hit that bell button as i say and uh, more videos to come on this uh, mega project thank you for watching welcome back to the gsn workshop and we work on the 77 Volkswagen bus work has really progressed since the last video um can't remember where I was last time but all this is basically done now um I've finished off the filling in strips here just a little bit of filler bondo just to smooth off this edge here it's done I've stripped paint off this step area uh, rocker panels are all complete and welded now the bits now done since then that last video is i have the front arches in this is just a uh, an epoxy coat i put on i had some left over from the uh, mustang i was uh, painting so i just used it up in little areas on here so this is a bit of a pain to do um uh, I didn't buy like a one-piece uh, um, what do you call this arch section and step section I bought it in uh, multiple pieces I think it's three pieces uh, I did see somebody else on YouTube who struggled doing a one-piece they end up cutting it off making it fit so I thought I might as well just go for uh, the three piece piece anyway which I'm glad I did because it's it is a bit of a pain to install there goes my heater in the background sorry about that but it's a cold day um, so this was a section here and it would have gone on and down and around here um, i ended up cutting it off just here to make things fit um, and again i used the B pillar as my datum. I took the door off to do most of this. I then put it back on to get the, uh, the gap lines correct. Uh, this section here, the step section, was is separate to this section, and they kind of just fit together. Uh, once I was, once I, I had nothing. To reference with this did not exist on my bus um, it was totally rotted out there's nothing here at all so uh, I had to kind of work out how things fitted and how it went together um, so once the door was off I managed to cut out the rust and slowly fit these pieces up uh, make sure they fitted in and how they fitted in this tucked in underneath this uh, arch section here so this goes up underneath um, as you can see just here and I plug welded on the back uh, this section here fits over the top uh, but I did actually once I got it fitted I kind of tacked it in place for a just in a few places it's a bit dusty now uh, to make sure it all fitted once I was happy I then plug welded this together to this piece here and underneath as well underneath the, uh, the other section 
Um, I then refitted, make sure it was all okay. And it was fitted, I was happy with the gap with the door. And it's not perfect, it really, really is hard with these aftermarket parts to make gap lines fit, but they will, it will look okay. So once I was happy with that, I just tacked it in place and left as is, just a couple of tacks on the top here and the bottom. So it was uh, firm in here. So I was happy with the position of it before I fully welded it. I then fitted in the arch section here. And again, I used, like I said, I used the B post as my reference. Um, I then cut off the surplus, which would have gone to about somewhere down here. I brought it up and I cut it off here. I then butt welded in. I just put a bit of filler in for now because I want to blend in this curved lip section to here. I just want to blend it into nothing. It's not finished yet. This is just roughed. Um, it look, it's looking okay actually. And on, on the back, uh, if you can see it, I'll put my finger here. Yeah, you can just see here. I used like a filler section, a piece of sheet steel, and I bonded this with the the, uh, the bond the epoxy bond I use uh, to give it extra strength. So it's uh, seam weld, and it has a epoxy piece in behind it. So it's, it is very very strong. I also use the epoxy glue around the edge because so I think it looks tidier and the, the epoxy glue is extremely strong. I then use the epoxy glue down this edge here all the way in and did that. This is a filler section I had to put in and it's not finished yet. Um, I've only temporarily put some bondo over it filler. Again it's epoxied in into there and down down the side here. It gives a very strong watertight joint. Um, should be no ingress of water in here anymore. I just got to fill up fill, fill this section a little bit in here. Uh, what else? Uh, oh yeah you can see where I put the epoxy paint in. I put the new section in here and all the way up all the way up so that's all new steel filled off here down around here that went quite well uh, yeah what else is there uh, I had to where are we weld a piece in here because this is pretty rusty I had to weld a piece in here um, you can hardly see it only by the paint but this little corner here was uh, rusty so to cut the rust out and I made up an angle piece and I used the epoxy adhesive again just to finish that off it's not a structural part I don't use the epoxy on structural items um, just because I don't know how strength is it actually says the instructions do not use for its structural parts so that's where I am at. Um, I still got a bit of work to do underneath here just to tidy it up. Hope you can see okay. And uh, again, a little bit of tidying up here and there. But basically, this is now done. Um, the door is back on for now. The door will be coming off so I can finish off. So um, I can realign. Then I got up. Then I'll be putting new door cards on and if I can just put this down here just close the door it doesn't you can see the gap isn't too bad around it a little bit of finishing off here and there then on the door itself um, I had a quick look um, I've got to cut a section out across here and I'll weld a new section in um, but I'll be stripping all the paint off first so that's where I am with the, uh, the bus right now. This side is basically done. Swing around. 
So just take a look down, thin layers of uh, filler just to blend this in. And they are literally just thin layers as well, hardly anything to it. Um, again, I've got some epoxy on here. Some little dents I've been filling in as I'm finding them. Um, I've got to strip all the paint off of this here. This would be a bare metal respray uh, when, I, when I'm finished. So I'm taking slowly taking all the paint off as I'm going around. So yeah, if we just look down the side, maybe this way, starting to take shape at last. <laughs> so uh, I have made the big decision of to take the fuel injection system out and go with a, a twin weather conversion for the engine when I rebuild it. And just down here is all the uh, injection components in there apart from ECU which is on my desk. So I got other work here that I'm doing as well. So anyway, that's the, the bus. Thank you for watching so far. Please like, subscribe, hit that bell button. More, A lot more to come on this and other projects I'm doing as well. Thank you and bye for now.